So there is a trick for memorizing your cosines and sines of 30, 45, and 60, which for your exact value quiz tomorrow, that takes care of six out of the nine things that you have to memorize. Now, I was going to just show this to you in class tomorrow because we ran out of time yesterday. Um, however, I realized some of you might want to use this trick while you're doing your practice tests and stuff like that today to get good at using it. So um, I thought I'd just throw a quick video together on how to do this. So what you will need is your left hand, and you want your left hand out in front of you with your thumb facing towards the right, okay? And you'll have to ignore my left hand. My pinky is weird on my left hand, so um, it looks funny. But um, So you want your left hand out in front of you, thumb facing to the right. And so here's what you're really seeing is um, your thumb is like zero degrees and your pinky is like 90 so there's like your right angle, 0 to 90. And then your three fingers are the 30, 45, and 60. Okay? Now, remember on the unit circle that all of the coordinates are cosine, comma, sine. So cosine first, then sine. If you know that, you can remember that cosine is on the left and sine is on the right. I know this sounds complicated, but... If you figure out how to use this, it's going to make a lot of sense to you. Um, the other thing you need to know is that really on the unit circle, everything is over 2, and almost everything is a square root of something over 2. So square root of 3 over 2, square root of 2 over 2. The only one that's not like that is 1 half, which is just 1 over 2. But honestly, if you wrote square root of 1 over 2, square root of 1 is just 1, so it wouldn't matter. Okay, you'll see where all this is going, I promise. So let's say you were trying to find cosine of 30, okay? So taking a look at your hand, here's your 30 degrees. So I'm going to put that finger down, and cosine we said was on the left. Notice how I have three fingers now on the left from where I put my finger down. So that would be square root of 3 over 2. Remember, everything is square root over 2. So cosine of 30 is square root of 3 over 2. Okay? Um, let's say you wanted to find sine of 45. Well, here's 45 degrees, okay? And sine, we said, was on the right-hand side, so I have 1, 2 left on the right. So sine of 45 would be square root of 2 over 2 because I have 2 left over here, okay? Okay? So you can use that um, to find all of those exact values that your quiz is on tomorrow. When I say, you know, cosine 60, okay, you would put this finger down, cosine's on the left, so this would be 1 over 2, okay? So um, hopefully you find that helpful. I will go over that with you again tomorrow, but I thought you might just want to see it now so that you could use it while you're practicing and studying today.